Yes, my friends, we are sitting in my Tesla Model Y 2023 Long Range Edition. A beautiful car. I just want to take you on a little ride. Uh, we are driving from uh, Sutra and we're going to drive into, um, in, into Würzburgen. It's a beautiful drive and I hope uh, you will come along so you can see a little bit how the car, how the roads are in, in Norway. This is on the outskirts skirt of uh, Bergen city. The roads are pretty nice and the weather is actually beautiful today. Um, I'm filming with my Sony FDR. I haven't been testing that camera in a car before. Just wanted to see how it is. Hopefully it looks good. In the background you will hear a little bit of music. Everything is from Epidemic Sound so it's not copyrighted. But let's drive and we are driving uh, now and it's about 20 minutes drive so please come along so you can see a little bit on how it is on in Bergen on the old Scott of Bergen city uh, on Sutra so let's uh, drive the weather is absolutely fantastic today and that's great It's beautiful, it surely is. The speed limit in Norway is uh, not the best. Uh, I think the highest uh, speed limit we have on the highway, and that's uh, in Oslo, it's 110. But in the west coast where I live, uh, the highest speed limit is uh, 80, between 80 and 100, it all depends a little bit. It's just opened a new road to Oos, uh, outside of Bergen. It's a tunnel and that's, um, and that's uh, 100 for 10 or 15 minutes. But this is a quite little place on Sutra, outside of Bergen. And it's just amazing to see, finally, we've gotten some uh, nice weather and uh, some um, sun and it's starting to get green now and that's just awesome so this is typical roads on the west coast I really really do hope that <laughs> the stabilization works on the Sony FDR driving my brand new Tesla Model Y. Let's turn off the music a little bit. That's also normal. The car is coming there.
and we got in the green light. If you're ever going to travel to Norway on holiday and if you're going to drive, uh, you have to get used to um, that the roads isn't the best maybe, not the best quality roads. The asphalt is it's overall pretty good but uh, it's a lot of narrow roads, uh, it is. And this is also typical, Norwegian people are walking a lot, hiking, that's also normal. You need to be patient in Norway when you're driving. Not the best roads, but that's fine. Tesla is so much fun to drive, you have so much power in an electric vehicle, uh, you get like, some instant uh, torque right away and the car just shoot away, so that's just uh, freaking amazing. But it's a lot of uh, controls in Norway, but uh, let's go. It's just so fun, <laughs> just to push down uh, the gas pedal but yeah just be careful when you're driving in Norway it's a lot of police and a lot of controls and the roads are as I said pretty bad so um, just be careful but it's absolutely beautiful And I'm, uh, we are going to Oslo uh, in uh, in a couple of days, and I'm actually planning to uh, to film some of it if you like to see driving from Bergen to Oslo. It's just fun. We can take it step by step. I can't record for six or seven hours. And here we have a cyclist, so we just need to wait. And I like to take the car out for drives, just driving around, just seeing the beautiful nature and everything. And I think most people that don't live in Norway think this is absolutely amazing to see uh, yeah, the nature. Of course, driving on the road you won't see half of it. But uh, I highly recommend uh, to travel, especially to Bergen. In my opinion, Bergen is the most beautiful city in Norway. And you have everything pretty close. If you want to look at the beautiful fjords, uh, it's just a couple of hours to, hour, hours to drive from Bergen uh, into Sogn, uh, which you call. You have amazing, amazing fjords.
limited 60. I think I need to stop someplace and grab uh, something to drink and uh, yeah, I'm a little bit hungry too but maybe I'm gonna wait till I come home to just have this. <laughs> not unstable as hell, if not, if it is, I can't use the footage. And I hope it's not a lot of lens flare using the Sony camera, it's pretty close to the window, so on the windscreen. What's really uh, fun to see when you drive in Norway, a lot of people are talking about uh, EVs and uh, electric vehicles and I think in Norway you will see a bunch of them. Uh, Norway is, in, I think, in percentage the country with, with most EVs among people uh, and the reason is pretty simple. Uh, if you buy um, a car with a normal engine in Norway it's it's pricey and the gas price is extremely high and for a couple of years ago um, the politicians in Norway made a decision that electric vehicles shouldn't pay so much taxes and uh, it's free to uh, we have something called uh, boomerang it's uh, you pay a couple of dollars each time you pass through some kind of stupid camera if you're going from Bergen uh, from from Oske where I live into Bergen you need to pass these uh, cameras and pay something and uh, they made it free for electric vehicles a couple of years ago but of course the politicians in Norway is pretty greedy and when they saw that uh, a lot of people was buying electric vehicles they need to do something so they are, start, they are starting now to increase the taxes on electric vehicles too just to get some money into the, into the Norwegian bank uh, so we are always bleeding that's normal in Norway we pay so much taxes in Norway it's just incredible uh, of course the Norwegian salary is uh, uh, the average in the world but it's extremely expensive to live here but it's also extremely beautiful as you can see I hope you think that
something to eat we need that too Yeah, on the road again. Took forever in the store. People are not the quickest, but uh, we are in no hurry at all. Thank you. 
your think so far? What do you think about the Norwegian roads? If you're used to it like me, it's no problem at all. And today is a beautiful uh, day. But of course, in winter time, it can be quite challenging to drive on Norwegian roads. And that's why I can't wait to use the Tesla Model Y in the winter time. I think it's a pretty good uh, car to drive in uh, winter also. It's uh, 4x4 so it should work pretty good. Some people say that uh, the Tesla Model Y uh, our Tesla performs a little bit uh, strange uh, in the winter but uh, we just have to wait and see. But we're getting closer to spring now. So no winter yet. But I'm just so impressed with this car. The range is incredible. It's good to drive. You sit high, have a good view. Everything is just, yeah, it's just simple. <laughs> you don't need need a ton of buttons in the car to make it work. It's a little bit adjustment to um, get used to the setting on the screen, but yeah, it's all fine. It's all fine.
something that are interesting to see hopefully the weather will be good when we drive over there it's 
about seven hour, hours drive. I'm not gonna record everything. That's quite boring, but uh, yeah, shoot something when the nature is at its most beautiful. But I'm soon at the end, driving from Sutra to Bergen. Sutra is um, an island outside of Bergen, really beautiful. It's uh, pretty close to Oske where I live, so uh, yeah, I like to drive out here and a lot of people are fishing out there. It's beautiful, a lot of beautiful places to fish, uh, but we are soon done. So um, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'm planning to record a lot of videos with me, with my Tesla Model Y and my family of course because I think this is going to be an excellent uh, car to take on uh, road trips and hikes so I'm going to use it a lot and it's just overall excellent car to drive and uh, I'm pretty impressed with uh, the sound system in, uh, in, uh, in the Tesla Model Y the premium uh, sound system actually yeah, it's it's really really good and the car is good the comfort is good the car is a little bit firm but I'm not complaining at all uh, and it's just fun agile it's like a go-kart it's so easy to drive so thank you so much for watching please give me a thumb up and uh, of course subscribe to my channel and if there's anything you want to see Leave a comment down below, but uh, yeah, remember to subscribe. And hopefully the video quality from the Sony FDR is good enough to use. Uh, what I really like about this camera is uh, it's just small, more or less invisible. And uh, yeah, I'm recording in 1080p, not 4K, but uh, I think it's, it's good enough. So uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one, bye bye.